Hey there, I'm Patrick with PCOWoodcrafting.com. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to build this potting bench. It's a great bench, it's very heavy duty. It has two by four construction, uh, four by four legs. The bottom shelf I made nice and low so you can put bins in and out that hold your potting soil. The top shelf is uh, very strong and sturdy. It's made with two by fours and one by fours. And then I'm covering the tabletop and the bottom shelf with deck boards. They're called five quarter inch by six deck boards. They're one inch thick, really nice and smooth with rounded edges. If you'd like more details about this project, you can visit PCOWoodcrafting.com. Click on the How To Videos tab, find this project for the potting bench, then go ahead and click on Project Details. There'll be a detailed drawing, shopping list, and a cut list. Now the way I'm gonna show you how to do this project is gonna be very simple. Basically what we're gonna do first is cut out all our parts. Then we're gonna do some pre-drilling with a countersink drill bit for our screws. And then we'll do the assembly. The lumber I'm using for this project is pressure treated lumber. You can use cedar or any other lumber that works well in your region in the outdoors. I just personally prefer pressure treated lumber. The lumber you're gonna need for this project is three five quarter by six by tens, two five quarter by six by eights, three two by four by twelves, one two by four by eight, one one by four by ten, one one by four by eight, and two four by four by eights. The screws I'm using are coated screws. You're gonna need one pound of three inch screws and one pound of two inch screws. The tools you're gonna need are a circular saw, a drill, and an orbital sander. I will be using a jigsaw just for a short period of time, but I'll show you options if you don't have a jigsaw. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna cut out all of our pieces and parts. And we're gonna start with our two by fours. And remember, always cut your longest boards first. So what I'm gonna start with is four boards at 58 inches. That's four two by fours. That would be the front board for the upper shelf here, the back board, the front board for the tabletop, and the back board. And those are at 58 inches. The next cut we're gonna make is this bottom two by four, one for the front and one for the back. And it has a 45 degree cut on it. So you need to change your saw to a 45 degree angle to make these cuts. The dimension of your cut is going to be 55 inches. So you need two two by fours at 55 inches. The next cut we're gonna make is the side boards for this bottom shelf. Oh, a pileated woodpecker. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go ahead and make um, the side boards for the bottom shelf. And these are also cut at a 45 degree angle. You need two of these at 23 and a half inches. The next cut, since we're now using our scrap lumber from our long pieces, is gonna be the side boards for the tabletop. There's one on each side, and then there's one in the middle, but they're all the same size. These are a straight cut, not 45 degrees, so you need three two by fours at 23 and a half inches. The next cut we're gonna make is for our top shelf side boards, one on each side and one in the middle. So we need three two by fours cut at seven inches long. Now we're gonna cut the pieces for our top shelf. These are one by fours. And what I did with these is I took my router and uh, put a rounded edge on all of these one by fours just to make them look nice and smooth. But if you want, you don't have a router, you can always take your orbital sander and just bevel the edge and clean it up a bit. The cuts we need for these is three one by fours at five foot long or 60 inches. The next cuts we're gonna make are here for our tabletop. These are the five quarter by six deck boards. And we are gonna need five five quarter by six deck boards cut at 60 inches or five feet. The next cuts we're gonna do are for our bottom shelf. These are also five quarter inch decking and you're gonna need eight boards cut at 26 and a half inches. Now it's time for our legs and those are the four by fours. The back legs you're gonna cut at 48 inches or four feet. The front legs 
you're gonna cut at 35 inches. Now it's time to start pre-drilling our holes. We're not gonna pre-drill all of them right now. We're gonna do some later. Um, it's very good to pre-drill your holes because number one, it lets you know where you're gonna be putting your screws. And also number two, the, uh, the closer the screw is to the edge, if you don't pre-drill it, it's gonna crack the lumber. The first boards we're gonna pre-drill are the front and back board for our tabletop and the front and back board for our top shelf, the ones that were 58 inches long. On all four of these, we're gonna go in about three quarters of an inch on both sides and put a hole on the bottom, hole on the top. And then on three of them, we're gonna go in about three inches and drill a hole on the bottom and top. Then we're gonna pre-drill on all four of these in the center for our center support. Now, the one two by four by 58 inch board that only has two holes per side and middle, that is our top front support for our top shelf. We're gonna put that aside for now. The next boards we're gonna pre-drill are our bottom shelf boards all the way around, the ones with 45 degree cuts on them. On these, pre-drill right where your 45 degree angle ends. And you can do that on the long pieces and the short side pieces. They're all drilled the same. Next, we're gonna take care of our two side boards that are 23 and a half inches long for the tabletop. You're gonna measure in about two and a quarter inches pre-drill on bottom and top on both sides of both of these pieces of lumber. Now we're gonna pre-drill our bottom shelf boards. Measure in about three quarters of an inch, angle your drill inwards just a little, put two holes on one side and two holes on the other side on each of these eight boards. Now it's time to start assembling this project and we're gonna start with the tabletop. And what you wanna do is take your four top supports, which are two two by four by 58 inches long that have four screw holes per side and two pre-drilled two by fours at 23 and a half inches long and set them up on some saw horses. Then you take three inch screws and you screw in on the outer holes on all four sides. The next part of this process, you will be installing the front legs, the ones that are 35 inches long. It's sort of a tricky thing to do. If uh, you're alone, you'll see I have my saw horses to help me and even my foot uh, to hold the board up while I'm screwing it in. You may have to have somebody help you or lay your frame sideways up on the ground to get these to go in. But basically, use your three inch screws and screw them in the inner holes and then on the side holes. Next, we're gonna install the four by four back legs. But first, before we do those, we wanna measure up from one end and mark 35 inches and draw a line all the way around the four by four on both of these legs. Then you put your leg inside the frame and bring it up to your line that you drew, and that would be equal with the top of your frame. Then you just go ahead and screw it in with three inch screws on the side and the back. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in our center support. That's a two by four at 23 and a half inches long. Center it in your frame and screw in three inch screws in the pre-drilled holes that you already have. Now we're gonna install our bottom frame for the bottom shelf. And basically, you wanna measure from the bottom of your top frame down 23 inches and make a mark. And you do that on the front legs and on the back of the back legs. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna use a little helper. You're gonna partially put in a three inch screw just under that line all the way around. Then you're gonna go ahead and set in your front board and then screw it in. And you may have to manipulate the legs a little bit to straighten them up, but you want them to be right at the edge of your 45 degree angle cut. Go ahead and put in one screw 
on each side and then take out the screw that you pre-drilled in and put it in the bottom hole. You do this on the front and the back. Next is applying the side boards of this bottom shelf and just line them up with your front and back boards and screw those in. Now that you have your basic frame set up, something you can do as an option is put on little rubber feet like I have here. These are used for uh, furniture inside and I like to use them at the bottom of my 4x4s to protect them from water damage. These end cuts get wet and soak up a lot of water. So it's good to have little feet on there to keep it suspended off the ground. The next thing we're gonna do is install our bottom shelf boards. Two of them, one on each side, you wanna install first with your two inch screws. All of these boards will be installed with two inch screws. Then you line all of them up in line with your front frame and about three eighths of an inch apart. Now it's time to put on the tabletop. We're not gonna put the backboard on yet, but we're gonna take four of our five quarter deck boards and we're gonna lay them on top of our frame and push them all the way up against our four by fours, all in the front. Then we're gonna align it. It's gonna have an overhang on each side and that should be three quarters to one inch. The front, it'll just overhang wherever it does. Then on the very front board, you wanna measure in about three inches and pre-drill a hole on each side then put in a two inch screw on each side, pushing your lumber towards the four by fours. Then you can take your countersink drill bit and go ahead and pre-drill all the holes along your side two by four, your middle two by four, and your other side two by four, and install two inch screws in those as well. Now it's time to install the back board that's going to go around your 4x4s on this tabletop. You're going to have to make a cut on both sides to go around the 4x4. Go ahead and put your board up against the 4x4s from the outside and then make two little marks on either side of the 4x4. You do this on both sides. Then you measure the depth of how far you have to go by measuring the 4x4. It should be about three and a half inches. And you transfer that to your board. Then you make a line across. So you should have a square that you're gonna be cutting out. Use your circular saw to make the first two cuts on both sides. Then you can use a jigsaw and make the back cut. If you don't have a jigsaw, you can always take a little handsaw to finish sawing the side cuts and then use a chisel to chisel out the whole square. Now, be very, very careful of the small side piece. It can break very easily. It's very delicate until it's installed. Now, what I like to do, I like to sand out the inside of this square cutout because it has a lot of splinters and spurs. Now you slide in the board around your 4x4s, take your countersink drill bit, and put a hole at the very forward part going towards the front on both sides. Then you wanna measure in about three inches on the very back of the board, pre-drill those holes too. And you can also pre-drill your middle holes and then holes that go along the 2x4. After you've pre-drilled all your holes, go ahead and screw in the two sides first. 
Then finish by screwing all your other screws in with two inch screws. Now it's time to assemble the top shelf. This is where we have the three one by fours. We have the two long two by fours at 58 inches and three two by four by seven inch long pieces. All you do is set this frame on your saw horses, bring your front two by four and back two by four together against your seven inch blocks, screw both sides in, and then you wanna install the middle seven inch block. You are using three inch screws for this assembly. Now, you take your three one by fours that you cut out at 60 inches long and you set them on top and center them. There will be an overhang on both sides of about three quarters of an inch to one inch. You wanna make sure both sides are, are the same. And you also wanna make sure that the front and back have about a quarter of an inch overhang. At least just make them the same. Then go ahead and pre-drill on both sides. Your front and back board, your first screws should be about three inches in from the side. Do that on both sides and then put in your screws. Then continue pre-drilling in the middle and along your frame on the front and back. And then put in your screws. Now it's time to set this shelf on top of the potting bench. And it basically should fit right over the two four by fours sticking up. When installing your shelf, be sure that your two by four front support is the board that has only two holes per side. The back board will have the four screws so you can screw it in to the four by four. First, screw in a couple of your back screws on both sides. Then what you're gonna do is go to your side and you're gonna measure in about three and a half inches from the back, centering your pre-drilled holes on the four by four. Put one on the bottom and one on the top on both sides. Then you're gonna use your three inch screws to screw in both sides. Now that your potting bench is assembled, it's a very good idea to take an orbital sander and sand it. You can sand the edges, you know, put little bevels on the edges, get rid of splinters and, and things like that. And you can also sand off the stamps that are on the lumber. Well, there you go, your very own potting bench. I hope this video helped you out. If you would like more information about outdoor woodcrafting, you can visit PCOWoodcrafting.com.